Hey everybody, Todd here, and welcome back to another Wellness Talks Brief. So, you've been thinking about getting a little extra assistance. There's been something that's been on your mind, something that you've been experiencing for a while now, and it prompted you to do something about it. So, you went online, you found a particular therapist that seems to be a good match for you, and, well, you did the brave thing, the courageous thing, and you set up a time to move forward and to get in to get some help. So what's that first session gonna even be like? Now, every therapist is going to have that initial session be a little bit different, obviously, each person has come up with their own way of introducing themselves, getting it all flowing. So while I can't speak for everyone, here's how my typical first session goes. I basically bring them in through that door right here and offer them a seat. As you can see, they can either sit on the one side in the couch or should you prefer a chair. And of course, if you're coming in as a couple, well, you have options. I would imagine I often have a certain level of pleasantries. Hope you found the building okay. Hope you found the suite okay. And then I usually launch into a little bit about what it is I plan on doing with this session. So I give a little bit of a background. I'm Todd Schmink. I'm a mental health counselor and a behavioral consultant. And my job is to basically help people with difficult life challenges from anxiety, to chronic illness, to couples communication, to depression, to a whole host of things. Although, of course, I do have my particular likes, my particular focuses. And this is going to differ for all the different therapists that are out there, both from their own personal interest and then, of course, whatever training that they've done. Then, depending on the type of session that it is, what the person signed up for, we get into what's going on. Now, sometimes this might be a broad statement, such as, okay, well, something motivated you to come in and see me, so why don't we just start there, and then we can work backwards from there. Just get, a, just get some depth to what's going on. Now, of course, other therapists may have a completely different approach to this, but I generally tend to go one of two ways. That was part, that was one. That's more of a, a general psychotherapeutic act-based approach. We just want to find out what's going on. And sometimes it involves asking a series of questions. There's a particular model in my mind that I'm walking through to see how are you doing when it comes to friends and family? How are you doing when it comes to academics and work? How are you doing when it comes to how you get your energy back, how you play? And then what's it like when you're dealing with your physical health. Are you sleeping okay? Are you eating okay? Do you have a physical routine? It helps me to develop a decent snapshot of what your life is like. Because while I may be really good at understanding how the mind works, I'm not an expert of the person sitting over here on my couch. They are. And so I usually want a, a snapshot. And then I often like to make sure that I establish a we are a team. It's not a, I'm going to just listen to everything that you say, write everything down, and I'm going to analyze all of this and just give it back to you. That's not my style. I mean, I do write a few things down, more so for my own recollection, but that's not how I typically work. Although that might be exactly what you're looking for, and it might be how the person you've chosen has decided to move. But in general, we're just moving in and we're trying to establish a base. We're trying to build rapport. I'm trying to get a glimpse into just a moment of what your life is like in which the challenge, the problem, the issue that you've come in with is embedded. I might be able to see little tiny things that you can't, your blind spots. That's kind of my job, looking for those blind spots. And sometimes if I see one and we can just address it, and you can come up with something you might be able to do there, or you come up with it all on your own, that's it. So it's not unusual when I'm working with folks that they'll come in one time, 
we'll walk through this kind of a procedure, we will come up with some kind of an idea. Either I will generate a solution or a possible solution based upon what I heard. They will come up with it all on their own, which is a majority of the time. And I'll just simply say, so what I think I heard you said is that blah, 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 will actually move me in this direction that matters. And then they go out and they do it, they try it. It's like a little experiment and either it works or it doesn't. And I don't see from them again. It works and all life is good. Or more often than that, they'll come back. It didn't quite work how they were hoping it would. And so we put our heads together and we play around with it a little bit more and possibly come up with a different route. If there's a place where they keep getting blocked, there's where the psychodynamic, the psychotherapeutic aspect comes in. And maybe we go back and we start to pull up a few things that are important. Remember, each therapist does it a little bit different. I'm just giving you a general overview of what a typical ACT therapist or a FACT therapist does. And we kind of double back, drill down, find a few more components, things that you may be getting stuck in, old rules, old tools, behaviors that you don't even know that you have. And we outline these things. We ultimately are trying to take things that you're subject to as if they're true and help you to pull away from those and objectify them. See them as a thing because we have thoughts, but we're not our thoughts. And we have sensations, but we're not those either, or feelings, or memories, and so on. And the more we can actually pull from these things, the more that you can actually experience that pulling away. It gives you a whole lot more options. And that's where I get a little creative with you. And we try to move off in a direction of something that I can see that matters. Most of the time, people will tell me what matters. A common question that I often like to use is, what was your greatest hope? in coming in to work with me. Oftentimes, I'll even try to set that up, if possible, with the person before they even show up here to sit on this chair. Trying to kind of get the mind just mulling it over, thinking about it on your way in. And part of the reason I do this is because we have a tendency, the mind, the thinking aspect of us, of focusing on the things in our life that we do not want. So I usually like to start off over on the other side. If this wasn't here, what would you be experiencing? What would you want to have instead? Shifting the focus a little bit, pulling away from all of that right from the get-go. Now, like I've said, each therapist is gonna be a little bit different, but basically the greatest takeaway would be this. When you show up, they should introduce who they are, tell you a little bit about themselves, how they plan on proceeding, they should get into limitations on confidentiality because while everything is confidential, there are some caveats to that, some places that we need to be, or that you need to be aware of. And then all the housekeeping, the billing, the portals, the things that you could expect to come from working with that person that you're working with, and then getting into the heart of the matter. Typically, that's about an hour, 50 minutes, maybe 45, possibly even 30 or 25 minutes, depending on the person's approach. Sometimes it's more of an intake where there's just a large series of questions. They just simply go down the questions and they're, all they're trying to do in that very first session is just get a much bigger, broader picture of what your life is like in this time, in this moment. There you have it. In a quick nutshell, brief overview, that's what you should expect, is something similar to what I've just outlined here for that very first session, that very first therapeutic session. Keeping in mind that every therapist has a different approach, different theoretical orientation, different set of beliefs, different set of tools, different set of experiences that they're all bringing to the table. And so, some are gonna focus more on talk therapy. Some are gonna focus more on the analytic aspect, the behavioral component of it. Some people are going to look at solutions and be dealing with what can we do to commit? What kind of actions can we do to move us in a direction of the kind of life that you want? Ultimately though, all of us are trying to alleviate the distress around whatever that challenge is that you may be facing when you took the time to pick up the phone or to email or text 
or to use a scheduling program to get in, to do something about it and make your life a little bit better tomorrow than it was today, yesterday, last week, or even the last couple months. I hope you found this video to be useful and helpful. And of course, until the next time, may be well.